This is Smallsy Surgery. The one and only Becky Hill. What's up? I'm Becky Hill. Smallsy on Nova. Hey, on the show tonight, first time ever in Australia, uh, not first time on the show, but first time in the flesh, Becky Hill and the Bills. Hey, thank you so much for having me. It's lovely to see you in real life. It's great to see you too. Because, you know, <laughs> you know, like you see people through a Zoom screen, but you never really get to vibe. Like you see them, you don't know. if You're much taller than I had anticipated. I'm wearing platforms. <laughs> okay. And also, I don't think you did see me through because I think it was around the time that um, I think it was around the time that it was the pandemic, maybe. Maybe. And um, I was doing all interviews with my camera off because I was probably in my pants with my glasses on oh, and yes. no makeup on. No, and... I do remember that going. There yeah. was yeah, it was no, there was no video. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so if so, photos I had seen of you. Yes. You now. So you... you're now seeing me in, in in real life. Two hours of hair and makeup yeah. and styling and she's so... a qu- she's a glamour queen. It's how Every... I should be seen. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome to Australia. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Um, how's the jet lag? Uh, how's everything going? How was the, how was the tour? Just tell me everything about your time here. Uh, it's been amazing. Um, jet lag's been okay thanks to an app called Time Shifters. Highly recommend. What is that? Please tell me what this witchcraft um, is. Time Shifters will you'll put your flights in and it'll tell you when to sleep on the plane, when to sleep when you get there. Can how you write long this down? Can, sorry, can yes. you write this down? Yeah. We're going it's to the amazing. we're going to the Grammys late like in a week and a half and yes, I'm, I'm perpetually jet lagged whenever I travel for work had I known yes. about this app called Time, Time Shifters, Shifters my life would have been so much easier yeah you can use caffeine and melatonin or not if you choose to so yeah. all options on the app so that's been great um, and then I did a couple of festivals in New Zealand which were amazing Okay. and then I did two sold out headline shows you absolutely um, did one in Melbourne and one in Sydney and so it feels really beautiful to be here have you had time off have you had a chance just to, you know, just be like, you know? Yeah, I went to Queenstown for a bit. Nice. Went to Queenstown. Did for you a go bit. to Bondi Beach in Sydney? Or did I'm you do doing any... that. You're gonna do. I'm okay, gonna do great. that this weekend. Because that's where your people seem to sort of congregate. Yeah. And when where I say your hot. people, yeah, I just mean UK. The English yeah. just. Sit... Well, it's minus five in London. At the <laughs> is it really? Yes, it is. So we're really. Uh, my lot are really enjoying the actually heat. being in some. But sort keep of that factor fifty up because the sun here. Oh, I burnt like a. Like a bitch. Yeah, the sun um, here hits differently. Yeah, I mean, I uh, didn't realise there was a very thin ozone layer layer here. That is what the issue is. Yeah, I peeled for the first two weeks of me being here. I blame the eighties and the nineties for that thin <laughs> yeah. ozone. Yeah, when they were putting CFCs in cans, and the, and everyone in the northern hemisphere was letting them off like can. It was putting a hole in our ozone layer above yeah. Australia. Yeah, well, let's hope the government does something about climate change, but I'm not here to talk no, about that. No, no, you don't have to, no. <laughs> we can talk about your music. Congra- Please. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so um, much. On everything. Thank I don't you. know. I, I, I made this joke before we got on it, on air. I, you're so, or you have literally dominated the playlist of this radio netwo- the network aim. for the last couple of years. You know what? That is the aim. I mean, I'm I'm not here to waste anyone's time. I'm no. just here to put out put out bangers. Yeah. And it's really nice to actually be in Australia um, promoting a new single with a Australian producer Absolutely. on the feature as well. Sunny Vader is from Adelaide, I yes, believe. Yes, indeed. Um, so yeah, it's really lovely to be here. Um, you know, with with somebody who is Australian on the track as yeah, well. Yeah, and the, the track is called Never Be Alone. Tell us about it. So me and Karen Paul uh, wrote this in lockdown, just after lockdown, I believe. Um, and Karen Paul was in Alicia's Attic, which we had a conversation about beforehand. Yes. Um, which was an incredible duo, uh, sister duo in the 90s and mm. noughties. Um, and Karen went on to write a load of stuff, but most famously she wrote Remember With Me. Um, me and her wrote it to track and then we wrote a song called Disconnect with Chase and Status I uh, don't know whether that's made it over here Has yeah it did it? no yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. great great yep. great um, and now she's written this with me and um, I'm super proud of it it's all about kind of being completely removed and isolated from all the people that you love and, and coming back together and raising your friends and loved ones mm. up Nice. You are like a pop, I'm going to call you like a, a pop queen uh, with full of, just full of bangers. Where, do they all come out of here? Like how many songs are in the head? Like what, where, where, do you go in 
We, I, I don't is, know how it works. Do you pick the do you pick the chorus, the, the chorus line <laughs> first? Do you like the hook? Do a, you, lo- a lot of songs come out of here. Yeah, she's pointing to her backside. <laughs> yeah, you you don't use those ones. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, the the I love writing from experience okay so i usually write down a load of uh concept titles i I like writing quite literally so i like writing as if you were talking to your friend nice um i love creating melodies i love dance music and i think i always we always start with a dance record and then we we write melodies over it and then we go for lyrics and then it kind of all just spans from there it can change from day to day so do you have like a is there somewhere is there a vault of just songs that you are like ready to press release on or yes it's called my debut it's called my second album yeah um i have a title for it now i don't think that's been released so i can't no, tell don't you tell i'm me. so sorry yeah it's okay. but um yeah i've got my second album coming up um it's going to be released in may this year i believe okay um so yeah i'm super excited for my brand new album it's got it's more deep rooted in dance music as well this time okay. around um so i'm excited to kind of bring more of a rave edge to my uh live show and my music nice uh now uh, as someone who's a writer and performer, uh, do you have a preference? Do you enjoy one more than the other? Nope, I love them both 50-50. Yeah. Okay. And if I stop doing one, I miss the other. Is that so? Yes. Do you, Okay, n- now let me get into your head if you don't mind. Please. What makes you more neurotic? Is it standing in front of and getting the, uh, the, the public knowing who you are or... Uh, appeasing the pe- not not that you appease the pe- but being judged by peers like making music with fellow music musicians or winning over the crowd because you've you, everyone performs to everybody in interesting a- again both I think um, it has been amazing I was a massive drum and bass fan okay. when I was a child yeah so to come into the industry as an 18 year old and then the first song to ever be released was Afterglow mm. um, which gained quite a lot of uh, respect throughout the drum and bass uh, producers and mm-hmm. I had a, had all sorts of people wanting to work with me and then it was kind of like going into dance world and working with MK and then all of a sudden David Guetta is like yep. on featuring on my record yeah that's crazy hand in hand with that though the idea that I can take a 30 hour plane flight to the other side of the world and sell out two headline shows mm. and be on a radio station with somebody like yourself and be talking about my music and being able to promote myself is is so beautiful and lovely and there's a little girl inside of me who never thought that any of this was possible and I live my life to prove to prove that I I can do this. And well, you're super talented, so thank you, so you t- much. totally what a lovely deserve question as said, well. Well, thank no, you. I I find that interesting because I had heard, like because obviously you know people who know your career know that you spent long time writing and then mm-hmm. crossed over and then released. And I'm always curious because some, as you would know, and you would know them, pe- people who were writers step into the spotlight and go, oh no, I I really don't feel comfortable here. Yes. I much prefer to be helping someone else write a good song absolutely i i I love being on stage i i love i love the idea that i can do something that Mm. impresses people interviews are what scare me because oh you're fine no because you're lovely and it's okay but interviews scare me because i'm not great at talking but i am great at singing so being able to and it's always the bits in between like the songs where i go okay i think i've spoken too much now and i don't really know what i'm on about anymore so i'm just gonna shut up and sing this song thank you yeah 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 (laughs) So yeah, it's um, you need to work on a script between the songs. Don't I just you, all the best ones do it. All the be- all the big ones, all the big ones do it. That's Don't you exactly worry about that. Need. Don't you worry about that. Um, <laughs> you're doing Nova's Red Room for us. I, I want to I want to thank you for that. Thank you for uh, having me on. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. First artist of 2024. You indeed are. And the last artist was Joel Corey of 2023. No way. There you go. Love yes, that. I love the way that works together. Uh, before I send you on your way, uh, Becky Hill. Uh, I do want to quickly quiz you on Aussie slang. Go on then. If you don't mind, if you don't mind, I'm going to read you uh, like a phrase or like a word uh, and then you're going to try and decode it if that makes sense. Does that work with you? Sure. Oh, here we go. For phrase one, uh, Maccas. I'll use it in a sentence. I'm starving. Let's go to Maccas. Oh, Mackies, like McDonald's. Boo! See, yeah. Yeah, yeah we got okay. Mackies. Yeah. You do Mackers. We do Mackers here. Oh, right, yeah. wow. We do Mackies. Okay. Where I'm from. Have, you, have you noticed we speak weird, slightly different down here? Oh. Just you, the words every now and then, you like what they say? Yeah, heaps. You guys like the word heaps we here. We love heaps. Yeah, we love heaps. I noticed that. Okay, here we go. Next one. <laughs> next one. Next one. Uh, I reckon you're going to get this, but if uh, someone says, want a root, 
<laughs> if someone says, do you want to root? What would we be would be asking? No one actually asked that in 2024, but if they were to say... Do you want, want to root? root? <laughs> it's on my sheet. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't write. Um, you could just say... Uh, you, 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 I think you know, so I'll give it to you. I'm going to not say what's it currently in my head. Yeah. But do you want to root? Yeah. Or do you want a rooting? Would you say rooting? We could say rooting. We wouldn't say, we see, we would, you would probably say shagging more. We wouldn't say right. shagging here. Rooting is our go to. Also, does root mean, mean shag? No way. Yes. That's disgusting. <laughs> yes. That's so visual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, because yeah, we don't use the word shag here. I was going to say like root beer or no, something. No, 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 no. Root vegetables. No. No, no, no. no wow. No. That's, uh, that's La- something. Yeah, no, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to wrap this up, I reckon. I'm going to do one, <laughs> one more round, ra- one more round. Never coming back. Back no, here. I apologise in advance. <laughs> One more round. Uh, it's a phrase. Mm-hmm. I want to say it slowly because right. you may struggle. Right. Just try and work out what I'm saying. All right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm heading to the bottle to pick up some goon. Want to come? I'm heading to the bottle Yep. to pick up some goon. <laughs> yep. Would you like to come? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. It's what I said. <laughs> Do you know what I said? Any Does idea? Sound weird in an yeah. English accent. No, it just sounds way more highbrow. I right. won't lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> it actually sounds like oh, I would say yes to that. Yeah, it's with delightful. Your, yeah, with your <laughs> accent, why not? Well, would you not say yes to it usually? No, you'd be probably one of your more like chav friends would be the right, ones. You go and get the goo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna stay home. You go to the bottle and get the goo. Yeah. Boom. She got it. Right. I think this is um, this is. I'm gonna go to the off license. Yes. And pick up a bottle of. Uh, well, we we have a, a drink called Special Brew. <laughs> okay. In our country, <laughs> yeah. which. Um, <laughs> I if if you're unemployed yeah. and like to hang around or a bus student. stops, you're a student. Yeah, I, even the students don't drink that. <laughs> okay. So this, so what is a goon? What's yeah. goon? Uh, just like a, a like cheap cheap wine in a sack, like in a oh. in a in a foil bag. Oh. In a, yeah. Do they sell the the the, the, the goon sack? Um. The go- the the, the 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 sack of goon. The sack of goon. Because in Australia also, uh, on our national public holiday, we sometimes also peg them to our backyard clotheslines. Oh, why? And, and then we... You, From, like mould wine? No, you drink them as a, a, a backyard party game. Oh, but you, it must be warm. Yeah, it's definitely warm. It's it only it's a bad last afternoon decision. You're not you're not there early in the morning. <laughs> right. it's, it's... Okay, so special brew in the UK is like a beer. Yeah. So bags of goon. Yeah. Um, not I've I've definitely purchased one for a festival. Sure, absolutely. That's yeah. where you would do it, and that's yes. where you would do it. Hey, you're a winner in my books, yeah. and I'm going to give you three out of three for Thank those. Thank you so much. Um, Would you like a couple of English ones? Oh, yes, if you want to share. Okay. If you've got one off the top of the dome. I do, actually. So, um, uh, safe. Yes. So, oh, mate, uh, have you met that guy from down the road? He's safe. Feels like, <laughs> feels like, I'm going to give myself some music here. Uh, feels like uh, uh, he, uh, he trustworthy. Uh, he's safe. Uh, wouldn't rob you. Someone that would not uh, <laughs> steal from you. Um, it's. I mean, you can you can use it for that. Yeah, um, but not how. You... But it's it's almost like oh yeah, he's safe. Like um, oh yeah, he's cool. Okay, cool. He's cool. Okay, I'll we'll take that on board. All right. So you could either do safe or there's sound. Oh, he's sound ears. He's sound. Yes. Okay. It's a nice one, isn't that's, it? That's that's do quite. I have like, you have it, you, uh, Feel free to share if you do. If not, we can. Oh, um, ta a bit. Come again? What? <laughs> Tarara bit. Tarara bit. Tarara bit. Tarara bit. Yeah. Could so, you please use that in a sentence? Yeah, I'm going now. Tarara bit. <laughs> is that. <laughs> I love this. Is, These are not t- planned either. No. I feel so proud of myself. T- 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 is that like. Okay. Because we would say. Is this like a word that maybe has like run into. It's like two or three words that have yes. joined together? And it's in a is specific that- location in, in, the, in, in the UK. Tarara, t- Tarara bit. Tarara. So guess the meaning and then see where you can place it on the map. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, too hard. I don't okay. even know where you Just are on the map. <laughs> <laughs> Geography, like a strong point. Not mine either. Okay. Okay. So I'm going out Tarara bit. Yes. To the. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> clue. Letter. Clue. Um, I don't know where Taraz come from. No. Well, I guess it's Is it a bit saying like, hurrah, see you soon? It, it, it's, yes, it's it's bye-bye. Bye-bye, see you soon? See you soon. Tarara bit. Tarara bit. Tata for a bit. Ta-ta- yeah, like Tulu. For a bit. I've got, like, <laughs> seen a bit. That makes sense. Tarara a bit. Tarara a bit. Yeah. I'll take in that. I think but we should I'm leave gonna, it I'm going to bring that here. Yeah, you're Tarara so bit. Tarara, Tarara a bit. bit. Hey, uh, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. What Tarara, fun. Tarara a bit. Tarara a bit. <laughs> Tarara, Tarara a bit. Till next time. <laughs> <laughs> Becky Hill, pleasure to thank meet you, you so in the much. flesh. Thank you're you for so being lovely. here. You're so lovely. No, thank you for having me. Pleasure. Smallsy Surgery. Is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.